Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 445 for Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. <music> Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show by, for, and about entrepreneurs, but really it's for all of us because we just like to take our business brains and run all kinds of things through them to get that objectivity, maybe a different perspective on stuff to make us, to make it more easy, to make it more easy, to make it easier <laughs> to live, <laughs> yeah. live and lead that charmed life. Sponsors for this episode include factormeals.com slash brain 40, uh, where you'll use code brain 40 to get 40% off your first box of America's number one ready to eat meal kit. And also notion.com slash business brain, where you can go and try notion AI for free. We'll talk more in depth about those in a little bit for now here in Durham, New Hampshire. I'm Dave Hamilton. And here in, well, it's not really sunny today. I promised I wasn't going to talk about the weather, but it's rainy again. So I figured, what the heck? Uh, in California, I'm Shannon Jean. Uh, I love hearing those two products as sponsors because they both will change your life in a really great way. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Cool. Happy, uh, cool happy small business week. I don't know oh, what that means, right. but the SBA yeah, says yeah. it's small business week. So it that's means, cool. We might as well celebrate it because that's, yeah. that might be all we get all year long. Take so. all we can get. That's, that's right. right. Well, one of the other things I like as you were talking about the, the show is I like how, well, what I, I think what we try to do is change your filter on, on certain topics Ooh. that maybe you wouldn't have thought of in a, in a specific way. I'm going to steal uh, that. I'm not going to steal that. I mean, it's, yeah. it's ours well, here. I'm, sure I'm going to use it. that in the intro. Yeah. Yeah. I still, yeah. It, it is the, the filter that you use on your, your life as a whole uh, and trying to use that business brain and the way you make decisions um, that uh, can help you in other ways, just besides your business. Yeah. I like it. I, yeah. um, I went to see Amanda Palmer. Uh, the the musician, singer, artist on uh, Saturday okay. night down in Boston. And she did a, a show. She performs solo. It's typically how she does things th these days, un unless she's out playing with the Dresden Dolls, which I guess are going to reform uh, and do some shows here in a little bit. But uh, she she is very – she did have a, a guest performer with her uh, at different points during the set. But basically, it's a solo show. She did two sets. And uh, she said, okay, we're going to, we're going to, you know, take a break here after this next song. We'll take, play one more song. We'll take a break. It's about 25 minutes. She's like, go do what you got to do. And then, um, you know, we'll come back and we'll, we'll do the second half of the show. It's like, okay. okay, yep. Been there, done that. Understood. Thank you. Appreciate the heads up on how long this is all going to work out. She's very respectful of her audience. And a big part of that is because her audience is her audience. She has really perfected or continues to perfect this idea of being a creator for her audience, not for a person who's going to market to an audience that they have defined as hers. And by that, I mean, I don't think she's with a label right now. I don't think she's been with a label for a very long time. She runs and fuels her life based on Patreon uh, she has her fans and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, and, and then she gives access to like new recordings and, you know, daily blog posts or whatever, it, whatever content it is she ch chooses to create. You get to see as a, a, you know, as a Patreon subscriber. Sounds like the, uh, thousand true fans. Exactly. Uh, she's probably got it. Right? She's probably got close. I think I meant to ask Lisa, uh, cause my wife is one of her Patreon subscribers. Um, I, I think it's. Somewhere between ten and thirty thousand Patreon subscribers. I, I think it's closer to thirty, but but I know that that she makes about thirty k a month, maybe forty k a month from her Patreon, or at least that's uh -huh. that's what she has said. It, which is, you know, I mean, if you're doing the math at home, you know that that's not a bad little small business. And then she gets to go out on the road and tours. Yeah. She, I'm, I'm assuming she makes money when she goes and plays gigs, uh, but at the very least they pay for themselves, you know, and, and so she's got to, you know, that's how she gets to be Amanda Palmer. But she said something cool. very interesting. And he, so I'm sure there's like, we could spend episodes unpacking that thousand true fans concept and, and we have before and we will again, 
But the part I wanted to highlight was the next thing that she said after she told us about the intermission and how long it was going to be. She said, and hey, you know, you can do this while you're at intermission. You can do it on your phone or you can do it in the lobby on a form. She's like, please sign up for my mailing list. She's like, yes, mm, that's it's awesome. It's great for, for to, to follow me on all the socials and all that good stuff. And she's like, please do that, too. But with the way all the algorithms are these days, there is no guarantee to you. And, and again, this was I, I've always, you know, being a musician, I am always eager to get people to sign up to my mailing list so that I selfishly so that I know I can reach you. But she turned it around. Now, part of this is because she's a master performer, but also it's very sincere. She's like, look, with the way the algorithms are, there is no way that you can guarantee you will find out when I am coming to your town next just by following me on social media. The algorithm yeah. may not show it to you. And she's like, neither one of us has any control over that. So... What you need to do is sign up for my mailing list. That way there's a direct connection between us. And no matter what happens with the algorithms, you know, you're going to hear from me yeah. and you know, she she's a customer, right? Yeah. It's yeah, it's exactly. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's that relationship with the customer and, yep. and that, and when she said it that way and sort of turned it around, she made me want to be on her mailing list. And of course, anytime somebody does something that makes me want to take an action, I think about that. I put my business brain hat on and I start thinking about, okay, wait a minute. Like, ah, look what she just did to me. And I, I don't, I, I don't mean to be, uh, you know, suspect of this. I, in fact, it's fine. I, I understand it. It's like, wait, why am I not communicating things that way in my businesses? And so I share this lesson with you, uh, and I also ask that you go to businessbrain.show and sign up for our mailing list so that you get everything that we want to put out. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast too. Don't just expect that you'll see every episode on whatever social you follow us on because it might not happen. I guarantee you it won't happen some of the time. So that's. Yeah, I agree. And, and I'll put my using my business brain too. looking at that. Uh, I think it's a terrific business model the only weakness i th would uh mention is relying on one provider for all of your uh like i imagine it's credit card or whatever if something goes sideways with patreon and she has you know thirty thousand people registered how do you um if you went to the bank and said yeah i have one customer which is typically which is i yeah. guess patreon right that would be a huge weakness so there'd be it'd be interesting if there was a, a backup or some different way of how you, if things went wrong, how you could convert those folks to a different, you know, uh, donation platform, if you will. Um, and I know there's a few of them out there, but I've had, I've heard some stories about folks that all of a sudden didn't uh, qualify for certain things or whatever on a platform and, and couldn't use them anymore. So that would be a good backup. All right. Hey, look, like many of you out there, we have found that Notion, our sponsor today, is great for making notes and docs and project management, right? And so today, I'm really excited to tell you about the incredible newest addition to Notion's suite of tools, Notion AI. Yeah, artificial intelligence that works right in your Notion workspace. Notion AI helps you work faster, write better, and think bigger doing tasks that normally take you hours in just seconds. And this is because, like I said, you get to leverage the power of AI right inside Notion across all your notes and docs without the need to jump between your work and like a web browser or a separate AI-powered tool. Notion AI is designed to help you with your work right in the place where you're doing your work, not in a separate tool. So with whatever you're working on, Notion AI lets you skip to the good part. Just tell Notion AI what to do. The more details, the better, of course. That's what we've learned with AI, right? And then you can have it write a blog post, make an outline, brainstorm ideas, summarize a whole bunch of docs. For a limited time, try Notion AI for free when you go to Notion.com slash business brain. That's all lowercase letters, Notion.com slash business brain to try out the incredible power of Notion AI today. And when you use our link, you support our show. This is a limited time offer. Try Notion AI for free right now at Notion.com slash business brain. And our thanks to Notion for sponsoring this episode. 
And during this prime spring season we have here, you need wholesome, convenient meals to energize you for warmer, more active days. To help you get through your to-do list and make it your to-did list, our sponsor, Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Factor's great. We've used it here a bunch at home. You get to skip the trip to the grocery store. You skip the chopping, the prepping, and the cleaning up, too, because Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Then you can get back to whatever you were doing, right? It's great. They really make it easy, and it's all fresh ingredients. They're delicious. They're ready when you need them. And they've got all kinds of menus for different lifestyles and diets. They've got keto to calorie smart, vegan and veggie, protein plus, all prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. They got all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long while getting that to-do list done. Head to factormeals.com slash brain four zero and use code brain four zero to get 40% off your first box. That's code BRAIN40 at factormeals.com slash BRAIN40 to get 40% off your first box. And our thanks to Factor for sponsoring this episode. And hey, while I've got you here, I've got a podcast for you. I'm sure you've thought about writing a book, right? But do you want to publish a book that's just a nice thing to put on your shelf? Or do you want to publish one that makes you an authority and helps transform your business? If your answer is the latter... The podcast I want to tell you about is called On Good Authority, and it's hosted by New York Times bestselling author Anna David. The show, which has been named one of the best publishing podcasts by L.A. Weekly and Feedspot, among others, features interviews with top entrepreneurs and authors on how they've launched books that have made them into thought leaders. Guests have included everyone from 48 Laws of Power author Robert Greene and Never Split the Differences, Chris Voss, to Jay Abraham, Lori Gottlieb, and more. You can find all the episodes and show notes at ongoodauthoritypod.com. And our thanks to Anna for doing this swap with us. All right, Shannon, you found an interesting little thread over on Twitter about uh, I did. three product types yeah. that your business uh, you know, should offer. Yeah. We've talked about this concept before. I, I, I call it the $10 ice cream cone, although now maybe it's 20 bucks with inflation. <laughs> yeah, I think most um, ice cream cones cost about 10 bucks now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so let's say you 20 bucks. So, you know, it's, that's the concept of having, uh, you know, this high end product that is very profitable, maybe don't sell a lot, but, uh, you know, Will Green on, uh, Twitter who I follow and, uh, we'll put a link in the show notes at, uh, businessbrain.show, uh, he, he had put it in good context of these three different product types. And let me read this first and then we'll, we'll chat about it. Yeah. Um, and his, uh, you know, he calls them marketing truths. One product is not enough. 10 product is too many. Every business needs three offers, only three. Uh, he says offer number one is the whistle. A whistle is loud. It goes out in the world and gets attention it can be easily fulfilled and it's priced as low as possible to self liquidate on paid ads. If you're paying, you know, for marketing, yeah, okay. its purpose is to, to bring on customers and, and just break even. So it's something you can move a lot of, get a lot of attention. Uh, offer product. Number two is called the workhorse. This is a mid tier product, 70 to 80% of your revenue. If your whistle is a special soothing brush that calms anxious dogs, your workhorse could be doggy CBD at $47 a month. And then the <laughs> third product okay. All right. he calls the, the whale. Uh, ultra high-end offering. Very few customers will buy it, but the ones that do are money. If your workhorse is doggy CBD, your whale is a custom dog food created to your pet's DNA profile and delivered fresh. $4,500 up front and $177 a month. Oh. And you know, those are interesting, uh, you know, examples, but, it, you know, and then, and then there was one follow-up question that's, that's also worth mentioning. Uh, someone asked, well, what if we just gave away the whistle, uh, you know, product? And uh, Will came back and said, you know, paid customers obviously are better than freebie seekers. You know, if, uh, if you can spend $4,000 selling a $40 product at break even, that's 100 buyers a day you bring on every day. Um, and then if you can get 10% of them to take the workhorse offer, you, you're scaling up. So that's a thousand dollar of profit a day, reliably and consistently. That's, that's really have to get. Yeah. Like I, I think, yeah. no, I think that's the part that it's, that's hard to get over because 
there's this desire that we all have to just collect customers and and we've learned to accept the concept of a loss leader right and so that's where this yeah. this question about the whistle comes in is well uh, what if i just offer it as a loss leader so that i can get these people in as customers because you are shipping them a thing they paid you you're you are. shipping them yep. just because you've chosen to lose money on it does not mean they're not your customer in their mind but and are uh, you big enough to yeah do, i mean are you are you big enough already to eat yeah. that right yeah you don't want to offer it for free or uh, like his idea about freebie secrets is huge but i yep. think also just break even is maybe how we need to reframe and when we put our business brains on redefine that idea of loss leader. Like let's, let's eliminate loss leader as the default option. I don't want to eliminate it as our, from a, from the category entirely. I think there's still going to be places where it makes sense. However, when we're starting out and learning to attract customers, I think we need to look at, let's break even on the product. Yeah. Not the whistle. Yeah. Let's yeah. break even on the whistle, right? Whatever that product is in your business, break even on it, you're still actually going to lose money if you break even because you're spending money to to, yeah. to bring those pe those customers in. Like you still have customer acquisition cost. If you can bake that into your break even calculation, hey, do it even better. Yeah. But, but and you're, I love the, uh, no, the no, examples go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, where he's like, you know, selling something weird as your whistle is great to get you attention, you know, like this yeah. soothing brush to calm anxious dogs. You know, I, I remember when we had Greg Mercer from Jungle Scout, they're experts at Amazon selling. Uh, yeah, he talked yeah, about, yeah. you know, if your friends think the product you're selling is cool, you might be selling the wrong product. You know, you want to sell things that are different and not commoditized and, you know, in that race to the bottom thing. Uh, and there's a bunch of examples that, that he talked about on that show. And I, I think it's great. And the thought process is I had a, a nonprofit event this weekend and it, I, I really have to shift away f from thinking about this, this high volume. I'm always, I gotta say, we have to sell more tickets for this banquet. Sell, sure. sell, sell. And we didn't sell quite as many this year and we're down, you know, about 20%. And I'm thinking, well, it's the economy, this, and thing. But we sold to the right group of customers because our our uh, revenue per guest, if, uh, which I've monitored for years, was the highest it's ever been. You know, over five hundred dollars per guest uh, at this event that they spent, and we we generated about eighty thousand dollars in revenue on on Saturday. And in so it's it's resetting that concept of okay, you know, I don't need. 200 225 people i need 150 of the right people yep and this well, it's just like that this... that whole amanda palmer thing that we were talking about at the beginning yeah. of the episode it's the same That's thing right. find the right people and i don't want to say ignore the rest but don't worry about the rest like if they, if it. one of them is the right person they will show up like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it it builds up it backs up or backstops that thousand true fans concept yeah. that we mentioned earlier yeah. too is that you, it's the people that are really willing to pay you for you, you, your service, your product, your performance, whatever it is, that's who you should be focusing on. Not the fact that I need 10 million Twitter followers or whatever. Uh, it's, do you have the right followers? That's right? it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's, that's, man, talk about my career here. Like I, I'm not, I have, I have built that thousand true followers in a few different oh, yeah. places and it's like, it's great, but, but it's not, you know, I say that I, I lead a charmed life but for sure. And I'm very thankful for it, but it's not an accidentally charmed life. It's an intentionally Correct. charmed life. And I work really hard for all of you. If you are part of any of those circles of thousand true fans with this show, with any of the other shows I do with the websites that I've run, like all of those things, it is my focus every day, my mission to make sure that there is value for you out there that like, that's how I, I, that's, that's my part of this is making yeah. sure you're getting what you want. It's, it's not well, using it, you. It, it's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. It's a value of reciprocity. That's you, it. You're yes. giving that out first. Yes. In the, yes. Uh, in the, this concept of they're going to come back and give me something else. I'm going to visit my website, sign up for this, listen to my podcast, and you know you're going to generate some revenue somehow. But check out our sponsors. Not, 
Yeah, check out the sponsors. Exactly. So I mean it though. You know, that, I, it's, I don't yeah. mean that to be cheeky. Like that's part of the the reciprocity. Is like I've yeah. asked you, will you go check out our sponsors? You, whether you buy is between you you and them. But our job he, here is to just get you thinking, to take a look. Yeah. Yeah, and and thinking about well, let's let's get good sponsors that are relevant to our you yes. know business, and let's try this stuff out. Like we tried those uh, factor you know meals, and exactly. they're awesome. Yeah, and use Notion really and all are. these things. So yeah, it's yeah, it's great. It's, it's a great. It, it's a good good concept. But the whistle, the workhorse, and the whale. If you want to learn more about it, we will link it in the show notes at businessbrain.show. And uh, thanks for uh, being us here, being with us here on Wednesday. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. And uh, coming up on Casual Friday, we have a couple of emails that uh, to share and put through the Business Brain filter. Send in your emails to feedback at businessbrain.show. And if your email is featured in an episode, you're entered to win a MacBook Air in 2023 here. Keep living that charmed life, and we'll see you next time.